Yes, uh, hello everybody and uh, thank you for coming. I'm very happy to be here again and uh, today we will speak about uh, Jehovah's Witness organization that uh, they are not. They are not God's organization. So they have nothing with God's organization. <clears throat> A lot of times... Um, my subscribers ask me, Rudo, but is this uh, God's organization? So uh, I answer that, but uh, the Jehovah's Witness uh, blocked my video about um, uh, my video that I wrote, I made uh, that uh, Jehovah does not have witness today. So they are false witness of God. And uh, they blocked me, so they blocked my video, and uh, this video is not exist more. But uh, I will uh, do that again because uh, so I will don't speak about Jehovah's Witnesses, but we will just speak about um, God's organization. So uh, when we go further in this uh, discussion. I want uh, just uh, to speak about that um, uh, last time I made a video, a lot of videos about uh, the anointing creed of uh, the governing body. And uh, we realized that uh, biblically, after God's war, they are absolutely not anointed. So they are not anointed not biblically anointed. They are anointed from something else, but not from God. And uh, this is uh, just a very important factor, because if you speak, okay, God's organization have is anointed and they are led by God, but we know that they are not that. In the new time, uh, I also speak about uh, this... Um, reaction from from how governing body react and how this uh, people react as God's people <laughs> and uh, after the Australian Royal Commission uh, we see that that just practically so you see that that um, Jeffrey Jackson have nothing uh, identical with uh, with Jesus Christ because we must compare that Jesus compare his anointed brothers uh, as his own brothers he, Jesus called his brothers my brothers okay the households of God and uh, we know in the Bible that uh, not only anointed but especially anointed, should have the same mental attitude that Jesus Christ had or had. And we see that when uh, the Australian Royal Commission asked uh, Jeffrey Jackson, if you are God's mouthpiece, he say, oh, this is uh, not the case. This is, would be, it should be uh, presumptuous to say that, but... When you compare that with Jesus, when Jesus was executed and uh, the king asked Jesus, are you a king? How Jesus answered? Jesus answered, you say that. Thank you very much. So, if we go further in this comparison, uh, you see just really that... Uh, they have nothing. They, they compare a lot of uh, things about... about uh, uh, house to house ministry, door to door ministry. This compares uh, the organization more to a, a, a vacuum cleaner salesman, yeah, than to a religious organization. So this is nothing with uh, Jesus Christ. This has have nothing with faith. This have nothing with Holy Spirit, yeah. And of course, in the New Testament, uh, we see the total chaos uh, by Jewish Witnesses. But um, I go especially because I was uh, uh, criticized on, on my video saying, yeah, you don't know the Bible, you know the Bible, you this and that, because they are uh, elders, they are behind, and we know that uh, the governing body is behind to send uh, 
uh, man that looks like just and uh, to to uh, deliver to governors but this is uh, this i'm not interested about that so this don't made me weak the, this made me more uh, stronger and when we speak about Jehovah's witness so the question is why we made videos about Jehovah's witnesses uh, if this organization consider himself as God's organization, we are the only God's organization. We are the God's organization, the truly organization of God. So it must be, looks like God's organization. But when this organization have so many failures, and shows that is not God's oriented, God guided organization. That is just uh, old men guided without any concept, uh, without concept organized uh, or led organization. Uh, this made uh, people angry, and uh, this uh, made people waking up and to help other people that uh, they are still blind, they are still blind. And I can say about myself, but we was blind, we was there and we do that, these things, even if I can explain my errors, uh, I like my errors because I don't regret that. But are other people that are in the organization. And uh, now just I want to compare that because um, uh, they are intently watching, you know, the watch our organization, the governing body are behind and watch intently our videos, yeah, about the, those, they called apostates, but for me are not apostates. The apostates, first apostate organization is George Witness organization, yeah. Now I have two very beautiful examples uh, how to treat how to treat situation in an, organ, uh, an organization because uh, when the governing body considers himself God's mouthpiece, God's mouthpiece, we must just, uh, I have two beautiful examples to compare this organization, yeah? When we compare to God, example, that God every time exposed the problematic in his uh, among his people. We have two beautiful example. We have with David and Bathsheba, and uh, Tamar and Ammon. So God exposed David's uh, uh, desire toward Bathsheba, and he exposed that because it is written in the Bible. God is somebody who who loves the truth. God doesn't hide the example of David. Okay? Uh, in the contrary, exposed every... The whole Israel knows that, that David um, had desire for Bathsheba and uh, even he killed uh, um, Uriah. Yeah? And this was a very beautiful example what God put down in the Bible, yeah? And we read that, we can read that, we know that uh, <clears throat> it was God people. We have also the second example of David's son, Amon, yeah? Amon uh, do the same thing, yeah? Amon do the same thing. Amon uh, um, violated uh, her sister, yeah? Amon uh, violated her sister, uh, the sister uh, Tamar, and also this we find in the Bible. So uh, we find in the Bible all both uh, examples, and we find a lot of examples, yeah, uh, in the New Testament, in Old Testament, we have a lot of, lot of examples, but these two examples is very, very specific for the watch hour, yeah, because a person who say, I'm from God, yeah, uh, you must look like uh, God looks. Yeah, God gives us His Spirit and say, "Okay, 
We are the temple of God. We have this attitude like God. We love justice and uh, we go further to, 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 to be just. But uh, as we see, the watchtower doesn't have the same attitude. Because when watchtower have the problematic with pedophilia and uh, uh, criminals and aggressors in this organization, <clears throat> and now that is, it's a lot of other examples, all this uh, mistake he do that, this is not a problem. I would never leave an organization because somebody violated a child in in USA or in Australia or in Canada or in England. It can arrive, yeah, it can come. In. But the problem is when such men, such mentally deceased leader, they are there and hide it. Okay? They say, "Oh, this is not happens in our organization." Because our organization is a clean organization. In the Bible, we don't find such examples. As before I say, Tamar and Ammon is written in the Bible. The relationship between David and Bathsheba, it is written down in the Bible. We read the example how David uh, sent Uriah to be killed. Yeah, and say to the soldiers, yes, when... You see that they are for the wall and they fight. Let them alone. So the strong warriors arrived and, and killed them. Yeah. And what happens? It was written. Everything was in the Bible. This was not hidden. God doesn't hide the error of his people. Because everybody should see. Everybody know that. Not because David... Uh, 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 made uh, David uh, wanted sex with Bathsheba not because of that uh, people should uh, leave God but it comes the same when he say that uh, the governing body say okay we are God's organization and say oh this is a clean organization this is a beautiful organization the only security and only secure place is in God's organization and uh, they hide all this pedophilia and all this misery, what they do in the one and a half century. They shows that have nothing with God. This is nothing, nothing with God's organization. They are just simply liars. They are mentally deceased people, yeah, that uh, show about that. And for that, just uh, let's uh, see a little bit the narrative about uh, this uh, history. So I like that so much that I would go to see the proofs, the biblical proofs. So, when we um, uh, see the, the Bible, we can go in the, um, the, the notice here. Uh, we have the explain, explanation of uh, Uriah the Hittite. Uh, just let me see. Sorry, just I'm uh, in research here. So, please, just a moment. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. So, where I take the examples is was um, in uh, 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel chapter 11, yeah, and uh, we see that, that, uh, let me, let me just read uh, this uh, half chapter, yeah, uh, David and Bathsheba in 2 Samuel Chapter 11, you say, In the spring, when kings go off to war, David sent Joab, along with his servant and all the Israelites. And they destroyed the Ammonites, attacking the city of Reba, but David remained in Jerusalem. One evening, David got up from his couch and was packing back and fought on the roof of the place. From the roof, he saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful. David sent someone and inquired about the woman. The report come back. Isn't this Eliam's daughter Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? So David sent messenger to take her. When she came to him, he had sex with her. Now she had been purifying herself after her monthly period. Then she returned home. The woman conceived and sent war to David. I am pregnant, she said. Then David sent a message to Joab. 
Send me Uriah the Hittite. So Joab sent Uriah to David. When Uriah came to him, David asked about the welfare of Joab and the army and how the battle was going. Then David told Uriah, Go down to your house and wash your feet. Uriah left the palace and gift and the gift from the king was sent after him. However, Uriah slept at the place entrance with all his master servants. He didn't go down to his own house. David was told Uriah didn't go down to his own house. So David asked Uriah, Haven't you just returned from a journey? Why didn't you go home? The chest and us. Israel and Judah are all living in tents. Uriah told David, And my master Joab and my master troops are camping in the open field. How could I go home and eat and drink and have sex with my wife? I swear on your very life, I will not do that. Then David told Uriah, Stay here one more day. Tomorrow I'll send you back. So Uriah stayed in Jerusalem that day. The next day David called for him, and he ate and drank, and David got him drunk. And in the evening Uriah went out to sleep in the same place, alongside his master's servants. But he did not go down to his own home. The next morning David wrote a letter to Joab and sent it with Uriah. He wrote in the letter, Place Uriah at the front of the fierce battle and then pull back down pull back down uh, from him on so that he will be struck down and die so Joab was attacking the city he put Uriah in the place where he knew there were strong warriors when the city soldiers came out to attack Joab some of the people from David's army fell Uriah the Hittite was also killed Job sent a complete report of the battle to David. So as we see here, the example, yeah? God put an example. So he explained how David was uh, 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 hungry to make sex with Bathsheba and explained all things in details, contrary to Jewish witnesses. They don't tell you how the elders react and take uh, children on the construction places, you know, when our uh, constructions and in this garbage and this construction place, they, t- they take the, the little sister and violated the sister in this place because nobody was there. So never tell that, yeah? They hide that. They hide everything. They hide. They don't tell you the truth. They don't tell you all... The garbage, all the investments they put uh, uh, the the organization, yeah. And uh, let us also see another uh, Bible text. Uh, I want just to read Amon raped Tamar. God exposed all miserable things what uh, his people do, so everybody knows that. So we read that in the Second Samuel thirteen. And the verse 10 say, The Ammon said to Tamar, Bring the food into the bedroom and feed me by hand. So Tamar took uh, the cake. The importance is here that um, uh, Ammon uh, send, uh, send his servants and say uh, that he was sick. And asked uh, to send Tamar to bring uh, some food uh, to him, and and and. So we go direct in the the reciting uh, from the Bible and say, Then Ammon said to Tamar, Bring the food into the bedroom and feed me by hand. So Tamar took the cakes she had made and went into her brother's bedroom. She started to feed Ammon, but he grabbed her hand and uh, said to her, Sister, come and sleep with me. Tamar said to Ammon, No, brother, don't force me to do this. Don't do this shameful thing. Terrible things like this should never be done in Israel. I would never get rid of my shame, and people would think that you are just a common criminal. Please talk with the king. He will let you marry me. 
but Eamon refused to listen to Tamar, he was stronger than she was. Uh, so he forced her to have sexual relation with him. The, then Amon began to hate Tamar. He hated her much uh, more than he had loved uh, her before. Amon said to her, get up and get out of, uh, of here. So then she, she kicked uh, out uh, his own sister and uh, the miserable things happens. But what is the difference here? What is the difference here? The difference here between uh, Jehovah's Witness organization and God, that God openly exposed such crime and su such miserable uh, things. There is no secrecy. In God's organization, there is no secrecy. Okay? And God every time send uh, prophets, every time send somebody to openly expose that. Yeah? And uh, just what happens in Jehovah's Witness organization, that uh, Jehovah's Witness, they hate that when people like us, we speak. Because also here, God sent the prophet to David and say, listen, you do that and that. And God will punish you. But Jehovah's Witness, for them, does not exist. They will never hear that, that uh, they will be punished. Yeah, they, or they just say, oh, we, we don't want to hear that. This is just our lies. Yeah. So uh, they will just hide these uh, crimes in the country that God, uh, how God explained it. So they are things that uh, should us much more let us to meditate on that than to ignore that. Because these are an important, these are important uh, uh, elements to compare this organization. And as we see, how I say you before in the first part, that we see a lot of examples about the governing body reaction, how they reacted uh, in the Australian Royal Commission, and how Jesus reacted before the king when he uh, was asked, are you a king? He said, you say that. The governing body doesn't react so when they was asked, are you God's mouthpiece? You say, oh, this is, will be just uh, presumptuous to tell about that. This is not reaction. This is not reaction from an organization. They, they say we are God's organization. Somebody asked me, Ludovic, you are God's son. You are from God's organization. Yes, of course, I am. You say that. Thank you. Thank you to confirm me. Okay? Thank you, that. When you see that such people that God expose all crimes. God expose all miserable things. You see that this organization is not from God. This is just from Satan. Satan the devil. Okay? This has nothing with God. Because God's personality is, it can happen. It can happen that somebody violate a child in the organization. This can happen. But they put out, they put in the journal, say, listen. This man violated our, our child. Our child, our baby was violated. This man must be punished. That's it all. And this is the reason for me. A lot of uh, subscribers ask me, Ludo, but why you really leave this organization? I'm not afraid about it. It's uh, very sad to see that uh, uh, such things happen. Yeah? You can't live in, in your own family. Yeah? That, as you see in David's family, David uh, uh, Amon uh, 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 violated uh, the own sister, yeah? It can happen in your own family. Not for that you will leave your family. You say, oh, well, I will leave my family. I don't need more my family. You don't need that. But you must expose that. Because you are an honest person. You go there and say, yes, I represent my father. When governing bodies say, oh, we represent the justice of God, we do the same. So God expose such criminals, such miserable men. So they should also represent like God. They say, okay, we must put out, we must show the world. These are bad men. They are bad. They are, they are criminals. They are, they are miserable men. But in fact, they don't do that. They don't do that. They hide because uh, not reproaching uh, on Jehovah's name. Yeah, this is Jehovah's name. So 
they made uh, himself to, to demons, they made himself to liars, and these are just uh, miserable men, and shows how far, how far, this is a counterpoint, this contradictory, this is a counterpoint, the longest point possible, how God think, God think in such way, and for this I read the to Bible scripture to show you that God exposed and not only exposed but exposed in details also details was showed okay because if you read the whole chapter you see also how the lie was prepared how the soldiers send the messengers to David and explain why they go so near to the wall and what and then then it's very long when you go and you read that you will see that the 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 Exposure is, is, is terrible because all details are told, yeah. And also, Absalom after uh, Amon, sorry, Amon, uh, after we see how Amon, Amon was punished, David was punished, and also Joe's Witness, the Watchtower uh, organization, is punished because this exposition they expose them and they are punished. They will be punished. They must go into prison, such men, yeah? They are just miserable human doctrines. We see that have nothing with, with God. This is, this is human doctrine, yeah? So, um, it was a comparison. And uh, so we compared this uh, Jehovah's Witness uh, concept. This is only a concept, it's nothing with uh, uh, spirituality. This is not spirituality, this is earthly, unspiritual, demonic uh, teaching is that. And uh, in any cases, in, in the whole Bible, you can compare with anything, yeah? anything what they do. You can see that this not, does not exist, such things in the Bible. Yeah. So this was a comparison to show... It, uh, there exists many comparisons, so we have much more than that. But I can make a video, 10 hours video. I wanted to, to make just a half an hour video to, to be able to see quickly can, and made a little bit thinking about, made a little bit uh, meditating about and uh, watch this all untrue that exists by these people. They call themselves God's people. But uh, we see that in their reaction, how Jesus say on their fruit, you will see the tree, a tree will you, you see on their fruit, that they are just to cutting down and put in the fire. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.